Brewing microbial mineral tea is a simple and straightforward process. Pictured here is our 250 gallon tote brewer. It consists of a standard tote and frame with the top cut out, a brew basket to hold the bag suspended in the water, and a blower. The air from the blower is channeled into a standard bulkhead fitting at the bottom of the tote, as seen here. The air discharge will agitate and aerate the water, causing the air and water to pass through the suspended brew bags. The blower is a critical component of the brewer because the microbes we are propagating here are aerobic soil organisms. For maximum effectiveness, we need to maintain a dissolved oxygen level of 6 or above until the tea is applied. You can find brewer plans for several different brewer sizes as well as written brewing instructions in the links provided in the description below. The remainder of this video will show you the process of creating a batch of microbial mineral tea. The basic recipe for microbial mineral tea consists of water, our specially treated humus, our mineral source, and bio-release. Our pre-treated humus starts with a high-quality organic humus that contains a broad range of biology. We blend additional food sources into the humus, focusing on more complex foods that stimulate the growth of fungi. The result is a material with lots of fungal growth already present before we even start brewing. Our mineral source is our humifos product, which is a blend of organic humates and soft rock phosphate. The humifos provides a broad range of trace elements that help to feed and nourish the microbes as they grow in the tea. The humate component also provides a source of protozoa for the tea to increase the populations in the soil. The protozoa are critical for the nutrient cycling potential in the soil after the tea is applied. The bio-release is an all-natural fermentation derivative that contains over 37% organic matter plus all the essential amino acids which enhance the growth and proliferation of the microbial populations within the tea and ultimately within the soil. Bio-release also extracts the minerals from the humifos and holds them in suspension within the tea, making them available for the microbes as their populations increase. The extracted nutrition makes its way into the soil not only through the liquid tea, but also through the microbial bodies. While the brewer is filling, we prepare the brew bags with the tea materials. The first bag contains the specially treated organic humus, which is our biological source. For a 250 gallon batch of tea, we use about 5 pounds of our pre-treated humus. The second bag contains our humifos, which is our mineral source. For a 250 gallon batch of tea, we use about 10 pounds of the humifos. We fill the brewer about 6 inches below the opening to allow room for the aeration movement. Now that the brewer is full, let's turn on the air. If you fill the brewer with standard chlorinated water, be sure to aerate it for 15 to 20 minutes in order to dissipate the residual chlorine before adding the brewing ingredients. We put the basket in and then we are ready for our brew bags. When you put the bags in, be sure to spread out the material in each bag. You want the material to be evenly distributed to provide as much opportunity as possible for water and air to pass through. As the liquid passes through, it will extract the minerals and the biology from the bag material and infuse it into the tea. Place the bags horizontally into the brew basket. When you place the second bag into the basket, again, make sure the material is evenly distributed and the bag is laying flat. Adjust the bags out to the edges to reduce stacking and maximize water and air flow through the bagged material. Once the brew bags are in place, pour in the bio-release and watch it go. The bio-release liquid is the agent that extracts the minerals and stimulates the biology within the tea. 
Once you add the bio-release, it will start foaming. It frequently foams over and can make quite a mess. So we recommend brewing outside wherever possible. The foam will settle down after a few hours. Brew your tea for 24 hours before applying to your crops, fields, and or gardens. Continue aeration until the tea is used up. Once you turn off the aerator, you have six to eight hours to apply the tea. Beyond that time frame, too many microbes die from lack of oxygen and you will lose the effectiveness of the tea. And there you have the basic brewing process for microbial mineral tea. This example uses a 275 gallon tote and can make batches up to 250 gallons at a time. You can make any size brewer you need, from small 55 gallon brewers or even 5 gallon brewers, all the way up to 1500 gallon brewers or larger. One of our farmers has built an 8000 gallon brewer that runs all summer long. The principles of brewing are always the same. You need the air and water to pass through the brew bags and the material in the bags needs to be spread out in order to maximize through flow. If you follow those basic principles, you will have successful brews and successful soils.